Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining us again. A beautiful sunny afternoon and we're at the workshop. I'm determined to get that spot welder working. I spoke to my brother, who, uh, brother Dan, you've met in previous videos before. He's been down to help me with the coffee van, the Defender, which is now finished and done. It basically, every time I get an electrical problem, brother Dan comes down and gives us a hand. He's very, very good with anything electrical. Um, and so he's given up his time this beautiful sunny afternoon to instead of spending it out in the garden enjoying the sun we're going to be in the workshop <laughs> with the door shut <laughs> i'll tell you what maybe i'll roll the roller shutter up at least he's reluctant as ever to be on camera even more reluctant than jeff moss um, but i'll try and film a bit as much as i can as much as he lets me anyway if we can get the spot welder working maybe we can actually get those weld nuts in place and weld it on to those bits of tinware let's see how we go How's it going, Dan? Huh? Trip the mains. <laughs> We've tripped the mains, oh brilliant. Right, that's back on. Time, that's actually that's how much it's how much it stays closed for welding time. Right, tripped again. It's gone. Trip the power again. All right, Dan has literally been here for 10 minutes and he's already got further than I did. Well, he's blaming the power supply. He's not big enough. The wire, I have like an extension running from the mains in. Those instructions that helped. Dan's, Dan's right, so it's the instructions. He says, Dan's read the instructions, basically. <laughs> yeah, Dan's figured it out. Yeah. It was the end of the day, though. I was tired. But also the, the, the extension, the three-phase extension that I've got that I had it plugged into, the wires are very small and it keeps tripping the fuse. So I think we're... I don't know what we're going to do. Cut the plug off and wire it straight into the wall. Who knows at the moment, but we're going to try and give it more power. I wonder if that's like multiple. The pulse. Yeah, the no. Tripped it again. No. Oh, that looked so promising. It made sparks and everything. It did, yeah. That's the main power off because I'm going to move the wires around at this end in that fuse box. Dan is over there and it's a sad day. We are disabling the lift, the two post lift that's done us so well. Um, well, to be fair, a lot of you did say that it sounded like it was on its last legs. Um, we're nicking the feed from the lift because I don't think I'm going to use it in the next few months. Uh, so we're going to nick that temporarily. Um, and use that feed because the main, the other feed that I had was just not enough power apparently. So I'm going to move some wires around. Right, that's now in 32. Now we've moved the wires, now we're in a 32 amp fuse up here, the breaker on the box. Dan says, if this still trips it, then there's something wrong. On there. Yeah? Yeah, so left is on it, And then here we go, ready? Yeah. That's on. Oh, that's all sparks. Yeah. Is that just the time of the pulse, maybe? Time of the actual electrocution. If I let go before it does it, it doesn't do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the actual. So that's just how long the pulse is. But you've got control here of if it goes or doesn't go, if I don't clamps. Whoa! Whoa. It's a different kind of world. Oh, it's stuck to it. Stick a couple of bits in there for me. How are we going to... Um... No, no, just two bits of metal first. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Mind your eyeballs. So, Ooh. nice. Cool, yeah. 
Oh, there you go. More or less? Yeah, a bit more. Mm. I don't think it needs it though. Just see what it does. So it's not high power, it's just longer. I don't know, see. What did you do? I just moved that one up a bit. For the longer weld, yeah, yes. okay. Saying that we're only on 1.5, but that's. So two maybe put the timer back down. Go up to three. To there. Three. There's no like two mil, there's nothing in between. No. Ready, my eyeballs? <laughs> cool. some sparks, that's There's more sparks there. Like, even right on the edge. Didn't blow through anyway, did it? That's quite nice. No. <laughs> it's actually really consistent as well. We've done six or seven different like, spots. It's working really, really nicely. Um, the jaws that are in it at the moment, you can change them all for sort of rounded ones and pointy ones, depending on what you're doing. And we've kind of got ones that go up one end. So hopefully now we're gonna try and spot weld on to a scrap piece of, of metal, I will say, the one of the nuts. Luckily, I've got a box of 50 from Worth, so we're not gonna run out of them. And we do a few tests on these scrap bits of steel first before we commit to the actual panels. What are you after? Some oh, they're, I think they're all here. They're all out. No. They're all here. It's only tight. Yeah. Are you going to clamp that? Yeah. Well, to be fair, if we just had a hole and put the bolt through it and did the bolt up. You probably haven't got the hole. Not on this, no. Anyway, that'll do. Whoa. I mean, melt it. <laughs> this is on the full. Oh, Holy God. moly! Bloody hell! Uh -huh. Maybe too much power. <laughs> well, it certainly welded it, but yeah, maybe we could turn it down a tiny bit. I mean, it didn't blow through, but no, it looked a bit excessive. But it's a bit much, I think. Depends what that nut's holding on. To be to be fair. <laughs> yes. Right there we go. I'm in position. You ready? Yes. Oh. Whoa. That's hot. The whole panel's heated up just from those two spots. Have you got a, a bit of thinner steel? No, we're gonna. Oh, it has distorted the panel. Look. Yeah. Ready? Far away. Yeah, Why does it not work when I do it? Yeah. Shut, shut your eyes. Cool, it does clamp it down. Dear me. Look at that. Oh, that's better. Yeah. That's nice. That's, the that's power, really yeah. good. It's on right, very nervously, we are going to start and try and spot well. Well, we don't need to be nervous, it'll be fine. With the fear is this metal is so thin, we're going to blow a hole in it. So I've turned it down. I've adjusted the settings. So if it blows a hole in it, it's my fault. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident as well. We've both got goggles on, I will say. <laughs> Safety first. Let's do it. Right, Dan's driving, I'm filming. Go on then. Hold your breath. Oh, not many sparks. Well, it's right on the edge, but that's as close as I can get it. It's gonna be good. All right? Yep. Oh, it's a bit underwhelming. There's no sparks now. We turned it down too much. <laughs> well, I don't think the results are underwhelming. No, it looks good. Let's hope we've, have we welded it on the right side of the panel? Cut, cut a bit of that and then, and then curve it into the contact point. Or just shave off where it's touching. But, I mean, you only want a small point, don't you really? Where it yeah, but it's too it, far right? back. So if I take off a bit further, take it off a bit move further and move way. it forwards. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Well, even though Wendy doesn't look very impressed, uh, I hope that you will be because I've just been sent these quick videos 
from the people that own the coffee van. Uh, and so many of you have been asking me about the coffee defender, what happened to it? Where's it gone? It suddenly disappeared. And it did disappear fairly quickly. I, I was hoping to sign right the outside of it and paint it all and film all of that, but it didn't happen. It's working, it's done. It's passed all of its certifications it needs, the gas safe and all of that. And it's out on its first job and they're using it and getting on really well with it. Uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do, which I'm thrilled about. I really am. So big thank you to brother Dan, John, and everybody else that's been involved. Uh, that was a, a big job. That was here for a long time, but it's done. And these videos, they, they, yeah, they, they did make me, make me smile when I saw them. So I hope you feel the same. Anyway, let's get back on with the next project. This rusty old thing. Right, here we go. Let's see what this does now. Oh no! No! Stop! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh! Good. Right on the dot. That's the one. Now it's worth a little bit of work with the grinder. Can't really see much from that side, are you? Big thank you again to brother Dan for coming to the workshop. He's gone now. As you have just seen, we got that spot welder working so nicely. Fine tuned all the adjustments and got the, the weld on nuts attached to the original pieces of, of the engine Timware, which was the goal in the last week's video, I will admit. But we're up to date now. It's done. Um, and ahead of that, I've got them bolted in the car. Isn't it brilliant? Now, on top of that, I've actually spent the first thing this morning emailing a few people and I think I've found this gray part, the mashed up sort of back panel, the bit above that, which comes up almost up to here, and then the boot lid, the engine lid latch bolts to, that whole part, and the chassis leg. Um, I've found them all available from different, various different people. Um, I think I'm just gonna buy them so I can keep going with progress, so it's to speed things up. Uh, but I'm still speaking to the suppliers to see what I can get hold of, how I can get it, how easily I can get it. They're all not, not in the UK. Um, so that's to, to be continued, that might end up being the hold up actually. So I'm trying to get ahead of myself, order a couple of panels that I need so I can keep making a bit of progress. When I said that we found solid metal and I can actually now start putting new material in, I've been chopping more out, but only a tiny bit, only a little bit, look. Now the Timware is bolted in, you can see how helpful it is. I know it's flapping around, but I can, I, I can obviously measure from the other side and get an idea, but this just double checks all of my measurements. So now when I make this panel that comes up to this pink line, I know where that captive nut should be. But I'm back onto the chassis now. Um, have a look what I've chopped out and actually started remaking. It's really to do with the flanges, this, this little lip. I need to, this panel here should carry on. And that is what this spot welds to. This is the chassis panel that runs all the way along. You can see the line of spot welds there. See all of these? They need to carry on and on and on. But here was just a bit rusty. See that little, there's a little joggled sort of stepped edge. They overlap and then that's spot welded. So I have done exactly that. And that. going to sit in there uh, then I can spot weld that seam weld that and weld down the bottom and that will be the continuation of that seam there 
And then this piece is the little tab that it's going to go on there. And I'm going to, where that pink line is, I'm going to weld down there. That can become one. They'll get spot welded together. Then there's one more panel to go underneath here to close this off. And then this panel come out here with a little lap with a flange just like that over there I've got four panels to make two of them or two of them I already have made the other two I still need to do um, but I need to get these two welded in before I can then build out and get the other two panels made and in the right position I'm gonna stick some gloves on fire up the welder and weld that first piece in and use a spot welder to spot weld that front flange to it let's see Dan's not here now to show me how to use it either so I'm on my own The next thing I want to do is spot weld that there. Ready? This is it. This is how I'm tackling it. I'm just doing a load of spots. Uh, once it's in and it can't really move, I'm clamping it as I go so they're all nice and tight. And that little flange is exactly where it wants to be. It's lining up nicely. Uh, and then I'll run down and weld it in place fully. Give that little sand back. At this junction here, I'm gonna get my jaws in there and give that another couple of spot welds. Now I've got that panel welded in place, I burnt my finger, which is nice, uh, but who cares? I'm welding panels into the Porsche, so this is a good day, no matter what happens. I need to grind down that weld a little bit. I just want to round that corner off. It really doesn't matter. Nobody's ever going to see it, so I'm not going to go mad, but I can't leave it like that. It just looks a bit too messy. For anyone that does welding and metalwork and fabrication, you'll be familiar with these. This is a Bosch one, sort of one. I usually buy these from Screwfix, and this is what I would reach for usually to knock the top of that weld and grind it down and then go in afterwards with my little die grinder, uh, the little sort of sanding discs and stuff like that and get it finer. In not very long, they end up looking like this. Absolutely knackered. The clever design really, they're stacks of sandpaper essentially and as they wear away it reveals a bit more of the sort of flap behind it so there's sort of extended life but that extended life is not very long. Quite quickly they end up rounding off and going a bit blunt and smooth like this one. Another Porsche video, another Worth product. Uh, these are not adverts by the way, I've bought all this stuff um, but I picked this up. I will admit these are a bit more expensive than the ones you can buy in Screwfix. Uh, yes, but apparently they will last four times as long. So I thought, hey, let's give it a go. What's happened? What's happened? That's loud. Now I feel like I'm getting the hang of the spot welder a little bit more. I've changed the jaws and this little sort of, uh, what is, what that looks like a, that's got kind of candy cane attachment I've gone for. Isn't it gonna reach in the seal around the back and then the other one's gonna punch forward. So hopefully that's gonna loop around there and I'll be able to spot weld these two panels in place as they were when it was made new. That's the plan anyway. It's taken me ages to get to figure this out and get to this point, but look, there's new metal. It's going in.
A week has gone by, it's next weekend, but I'm back in the workshop, it's Saturday, and I'm cracking on with progress on the Porsche, and I've got a massive box from Restoration Design, which has got some exciting things in it, which is gonna help us out so much for this restoration. Next week is another Porsche video. We'll get this box opened, show you what's inside, you never know, maybe get it installed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this uh, run of Porsche videos. Let me know any feedback in the comments. The videos come out every Sunday at 5 p.m. I hope you'll join me next time. Thank you so much. Take care.